Hello guys, thank you for joining Wistie's here. Cool Dash Aviation Geek TBN is here as well. How are you guys doing? Is it way to get an Evergraph cheaper? No man, it's unfortunately not. Uh, who got notified for the same live stream twice? Uh, Subtago, I don't know why that happened, but it shouldn't have happened. I definitely have different thumbnail on here. Um, so yeah, I don't know why it's showing same thumbnail as before. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try and change it, even though I can see the thumbnail is different here. I'm gonna try and change it once again. Hopefully they'll fix the, uh, the issue where it's showing the same thumbnail, but it's not the same stream for sure. Uh, see more parts today, nice to be nice, nice. I'm sure you're looking forward to building that beast. Yeah, yeah, I know on, on, uh, on, um, I don't know why in Discord it's, uh, it's showing the same thing. <laughs> Just ignore that one. Ignore that one. loud now. I know some segments in the music are quite loud. I know that much. All right, let's get our headphones on. Let's get stuck in this beautiful flight, ladies and gents. Welcome once again. Appreciate you guys joining us on this beautiful flight from London Luton by Innibuilds in EasyJet colors. And we are going to be flying over to Belfast City, which is a beautiful approach, a beautiful airport by UK 2000 scenery. The cooler decreased my temps by 20 degrees on my current CPU. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of uh, EasyJet planes parked up around here, but uh, yeah, nothing uh, too busy here. We don't even have a um, ATC service uh, unfortunately but other than that we're looking good uh, cool dash hello once again welcome welcome buddy good to see you hope you're doing well so first thing first let's jump inside the cockpit uh, we'll load up the uh, Phoenix app load up our flight plan ground services etc mass and balance is on its way, way. We'll restart that quickly. We don't need that just yet. Okay. That's starting up. Let's uh, load the aircraft via GSX. There we go. That'll do its the thing. We don't need to worry about any of that. Sim settings. That's fine. Control to find callouts, units, all of that. Cool. That's all fine. Uh, all right, Ethan. Hello, good to see you. Would you ever do a tutorial for this plane? Uh, Ethan, uh, what I would suggest watch my live stream and it'll get you up with things pretty quickly. Uh, I do remember parts of uh, EasyJet Ooh, SOPs, so way. I do try to follow them, but just do exactly how I am doing, and you'll be absolutely fine. I do everything in pretty much in an order. So I don't just go randomly to click different things. I try to do it in order. So if you follow that, you'll be uh, you'll be good to go, man. Just take it as a tutorial, really. I got the Phoenix uh, uh, 737 and ATR. What do you think I should get? Try and join these first. Try and enjoy these first. That's what I would suggest. Let's go to overhead panel. We're going to get battery one and two on. Lovely. External power is available. We're going to get that on. And uh, we're going to go do APU fire test quickly. Beautiful. APU fire test is looking good. 
Never localized to one, no smoking signs on, arm the emergency exit signs and we're going to get overhead integrated lights on. I'm going to get packs two off for now. Um, yeah, if, if you don't have it, you can uh, try get A300 as well by any builds. I think that's a, that's a good shout. Unlock the uh, alternate horizon meter. Lovely. Let's go down. We're going to get the uh, integrated lights to full bright. Uh, once your decimal eight is set, scope 2000 can go. Transponder can go to auto for now. Engine masters are off. Ignition set switch to norm. Ground spoilers are disarmed and down. Accumulator pressure is not in green. So we're going to get that in green. Uh, and the way to do it, go into overhead panel. Go to uh, this electric pump here. You're just going to turn that on, which is a yellow hydraulic pump. And you'll see that bad boy come into life. It'll go into green. There we go. Once you have that in green, you can leave the electric hydraulic pumps on or you can turn it off. Completely up to you. I prefer to turn it off. If you don't have Navigraph, I'd recommend it uh, for Chart Fox, I think. Chart Fox is quite good, yeah. Okay, so let's go and uh, get our flight plan up. I'm going to go Atsu and uh, AOC menu, fly in it and initialize the data request. So they'll fill in the flight request and uh, departure and destination. Easy 379 Romeo, that's what we're flying as today. And uh, let's go to receive matches on this side. And uh, on our main MacDo, we're going to go in it A page, in it request. They'll fill in our from and to. And flight number is Easy 379 Romeo. So we'll put that in. Cost index for EasyJet X4, we're going to put that in. We're going to be cruising at flight level 360 for today. Let's uh, drop that in. Tropo 28851. Sorry, 51. Put that in. Temperature uh, we're looking for today should be high as 13 degrees. Wow, okay. I thought it's uh, a lot hotter than that, but it's only 13 degrees. Fly plan, let's go to departure. We're going to take runway 25, which is right here, via Olney 2 Bravo departure. So, uh, Olney 2 Bravo, right here. Insert that. And for Belfast City, we're going to go ILS uh, 22. No star, yep. And via, we can take Maggie. Lovely. That's all in. Um, coolish uh, Batman, have your PC parts arrived? Yeah, he was saying they've arrived earlier. Right, let's check. There's no discontinuity in this flight plan. No, nope, nothing. If usually, if there's discontinuity, you're gonna hit clear and then hit on the waypoint where it says discontinuity, and then it'll clear the discontinuity for you. Right now, should be clear. Fuel prediction, uh, that's all fine. Secondary flight plan. Um, I will alternate is Manchester so uh, let's go over to there so we're gonna go Echo Golf Golf Whiskey Echo Golf Charlie Charlie fly number gonna keep the same easy 379 Romeo same cost index cruise level 4 alternate uh, I think it's the same we will keep the same anyway. Actually, it can be less. We'll go with 180. We'll leave it at that. Temperature's 13. Tropo will keep same. 28851. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to overhead panel now. Uh, we are going to get uh, fuel pumps on. Battery 1 and 2 test. Turn it off and on again, and then it should be 286, 28.6, That's fine. Um, strobe auto packs two is off. Crew supply on. Ground control on. Eva can go to captain. Adheres left, right, and send to nav. Time to align nine minutes. 
7900 3D Corsair Vengeance 32 600 AK60 Cooler Asus 7900 Oh man, you are gonna get absolute beautiful graphics with that Especially with your uh, 2K monitor, I believe it was It's gonna be awesome So we have about 5 tons of fuel in So we're gonna get Master Switch on for APU Wait for Flap to open here and then we'll start the APU as well 2k nice nice that's good TBN man that is really good I'm looking forward to seeing those uh, crisp screen screenshots from you all right flap open and uh, let's start the APU we can go outside and uh, have a listen to the uh, beautiful sounds here This is Inibil's Luton. Inibil's London Luton. This scenery. That's what we're rocking today. Alright, so uh, that's all done. Let's go to Init A page. It's really good, man. It is really good. Definitely recommend it. Alright, so. Uh, what we're going to do next. Let's have a look at our charts. Uh, we initial this climb we are looking for is... Uh, 6,000. Let's put that in. 6,000. Constraints can come on. Nav display can go to 10. VOR 1 and 2 on. And let's have a look at our QNH. 1020. So let's put that in. 1020 is in. Lovely. This side will go to nav. And we'll get airports on that. VOR 1 and 2 can come on there as well. Lovely. That's looking rather nice. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, we'll do a quick uh, light test. Yep, everything's illuminating as it should. Beautiful. And uh, let's have a look for oxygen test now. That's all fine. My GPU is uh, sagging a lot in my current case and no space for its bracket, so I put a broken HDD. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I hope you don't damage it in any way. There we go. We've got passengers uh, coming on board now. Uh, let's have a look how we're looking with our mass and balance. 69 passengers have boarded up. Fuel is uh, absolutely fine. Waiting for some baggage as well. All right. Other than that, I think we are pretty much ready to go. Where the systems are off, let's lock the cockpit door. Our uh, gravity extension is down, and the uh, circuit breakers are all in, so they should be. Yeah, circuit breakers are all in. I don't know what this does, but okay. Well, that's probably to move it from circuit breakers. My case is a bit small for my GPU, but I managed to get it in because the small scratch at the back of the GPU, at least you can see it. Uh, yeah, that's fine, man. Yeah, circuit breakers are all in. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, as long as, uh, you know, you haven't damaged it severely, I think it should be alright. And Alexis is here. Hello Alexis, welcome to the stream buddy, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, welcome.
There, there's four circuit breakers at the back that aren't in. Really? Which ones? No, I'm pretty sure they're all in. Yeah, they're all in. Behind the jump seat. No, they're all in. Look. Yeah, all of these are in. Oh, it just went past one. First ACTR LSSV. AT four seventy Romeo lining up runway two five. Do you see the white ring around the circuit breaker? No, there's no white ring around any of the circuit breakers here. I know that's what I'm looking for. This is what it looks like when it's pulled. Oh, this one here. You're right. What's the other one? Traffic EUC 617 lining up one way 25 behind the company traffic. They fixed the rest, okay. Yeah, I can't see any other one. Alright, that's fine. Uh, Adiris is lining up in uh, one minute. Aircraft is all loaded up, so that's good. Let's send the data to McDo and we're going to go to our um, takeoff is dry, flaps one, pack's going to be off. Uh, let's load the uh, load sheet and the weather, that's all good. So V1128, VR135, V2135, flaps one, up thrust of 0.1, flex M60, 55. Send all of that there. That's all good, that's all good, and should have uh, requested the winds here as well. Give me one sec. There we go. So good. Yeah, we're looking fine there. That's all good as well. Perf data is all in. Alright, ladies and gents, uh, that's, that's it from us. Let's get the beacon on. If you bleed on. External power can go. Interrupt. No. Still got about one hour left. Where are you flying from? Helsinki 2. What's Lima Echo Alpha Lima? Is that... I think it's in Spain. Is that... Uh, don't tell me. I'm trying to think. Alicante. That's it. I knew it. All right, we are going to be facing towards the uh, southwest. Loosen traffic, easy 379, Romeo, pushing back, send 7, uh, facing southwest. Loosen traffic. Should I get the uh, motherboard from Egypt or import it? If I import it, it will be 40 years old cheaper and will come with a better warranty. Exactly, import it, man. That'll make sense because you don't want to not have a warranted 
motherboard with the rest of the equipment that you've got, you know? It just wouldn't make sense, would it? Alright, facing south towards Bravo 7, facing north, Echo 7. Hold on. Echo or North, okay. South. All right, parking brake released. And something's wrong with that audio again. Let me quickly fix that. Uh, will you mix a hotel? I don't know why it's always gets muted, the poor thing. All right, let's start the elapsed time. Ignition can go to start. Obviously, we're going to start engine number one first. Starting engine one. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, first lever is fine. Uh, also, with buying in Egypt, is that we'll have to buy it in cash instead of card, and in one of the worst parts of Cairo. Oh, yeah. yeah, you don't want to do that. When you have other options, I would say take those. And once again, guys, thank you all very much for your lovely eight likes already. Can we get uh, get past ten likes before takeoff? Can we, please? Pretty please. Next week I have two tests, which sucks. Oh, so you'll be preparing for your test, eh? This is your only time away from everything. I don't have the motivation to study for them. <laughs> you, you'll get past it. Don't worry, man. You'll get past it. Just, just have your head into it. Keep your head into it. Please set parking brakes. Parking brakes set. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. All right, just waiting. That's fine. Starting engine two. Give them confirmation. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Starting in uh, flaps one. The parts input for a moment and have arrived. Perfect. Exactly. Just do that, man. Do that. All right. That's fine. Let's get uh, seatbelt signs on as well. While we wait for our second engine to come up, and uh, auto brakes can be set to max. Spoilers armed, predicted wind shear auto, weather systems to one. Uh, we're gonna get transponder on, that's fine. Okay, that's all looking lovely. Engine two is available, ignition can go to norm. And if you bleed off, if you off, the nose lights can go to taxi. And uh, with that, let's do a quick flight control test. Alright, elevators fall down, fall up, ailerons full left, full right, beautiful, rudders full left, full right. Lovely, that's all fine. Clear that, clear that, and uh, let's go. Disconnect the paddles. Oops. All right, so we are going to be taxing via Bravo Alpha, holding point Alpha 1, and then backtracking on runway 25. Loosen traffic easy 379 Romeo taxiing go to holding point Alpha 1 via Bravo Alpha and Alpha 1 and then possibly backtrack on runway 25 once it's cleared. Loosen traffic. Alright. Release the parking brakes. We are moving. Give ourselves a tiny bit of power just so that we can uh, start taxiing a bit fast. L loop who have thrown away the title uh, best of my life United and Crystal Palace uh, ruining their mental health really have they lost 
I haven't followed the uh, football today, so I don't know exactly what's happening there. The loss of Crystal Palace. Wow. That is crazy. Liverpool losing to Crystal Palace, eh? Ain't that something? Take off configures normal. We are going to go over to Alpha now. Sorry, that was a bit of a bad turn. I was thinking this turn might have might take us to run with that's why I was a bit hesitant to take it but fine we are fine all right let's get TKS TARE Uh, Klopp, Fewell, quadruple looking great with only the cover cup. Yeah. This can go to Idol. Gonna get uh, landing lights on. Strobes on, run the turn offs on. Lucid Traffic, uh, EZ379, Romeo, uh, backtracking, runway 25 via Alpha 1. Alright, let's backtrack on this son of gun. Once again, guys, if you have just joined us, please do consider hitting the like and the subscribe button. We're targeting 10 plus likes before takeoff. There we go. Our cabin is ready as well. So let's accept that call. Hi, Captain. The cabin is now secure for takeoff. Thank you. Beautiful. Alright, let's do this ladies and gents. Let's uh, do this. Gonna connect the pedals back up. Give you guys the uh, gear cam. Chrono on. Nose lights can go to take off. Packs one off. And uh, we are taking only two bro. Losing traffic, uh, easy uh, 379 Romeo, taking off runway 25, uh, only 2 Bravo. Luke. Alright. Let's get thrust to 50%. Stable. Man flex uh, 55, SRS runway, auto thrust blue. Thrust set, A speed is alive. Thirty 
not stores pressure neutral. Move on, rotate. Positive climb gear up. Oh, look at that. What a beauty. What an absolute beauty, man. Us to climb. Flaps up. Packs one on and packs two can come on as well. Nose lights can go off. Ground spoilers disarmed. All right, ladies and gents. Waterworks can go off as well. Going to continue our climb on. Uh, Open climb and autopilot on. Let's get you guys on the wait. Okay, sorry. I thought my uh, gear cam was stuck. standard on our uh, altitude Once again guys, thank you all very much for joining us on this beautiful flight. If you enjoyed that departure and you are enjoying this beautiful scenery, hit that like and that subscribe button. Overlay looks frozen for a minute, but then uh, yeah, it does uh, tend to fix itself. Passing through 10,000 feet almost. There we go. With that landing lights off, we're on a turn of soft, seat belt signs, no smoking signs can go to auto, and the cost index can go to zero. Airport Tonifus, VUR 1 and 2 off. Lovely. Nabil, can you check Discord? Uh, yes, I can. Give me one second, my friend. Oh, nice, 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 nice. That is looking beautiful, man. The whole package there is looking beautiful.
It's very short, but uh, really beautiful for like this. Hello uh, Nuji, how are you doing Nuji? Welcome to the stream Nuji. Hope you're doing well Nuji. Finally back in a working airplane after the... Yes, 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 I know, man. On ATGP for the case, I think that's fun. Yeah. That does sound uh, pretty decent, price-wise. Cases are really expensive now. Yeah, but I think the 80, 80 pounds is uh, pretty good for, for the case price. Belfast City, Echo Golf Alpha Alpha is Belfast International and then Echo Golf Alpha Charlie is Belfast City. I prefer Belfast City to be honest, uh, I feel that the, the approach into Belfast City is really beautiful. No worries, TBN. All good, man. All good. Take care of yourself, buddy.
And <laughs> yes, Belfast is in Ireland. What's the rough landing weight? Uh, should be 58.3, okay. My favorite flight we did was the uh, Ryanair short hops from Dublin to Kerry back to Dublin. Uh, yeah, that was quite a good flight. The especially landing into Kerry was quite tricky. For other flights, I love uh, those short sectors with a quick turnaround. Yeah. I know uh, there's something up now if I did to Katrina. Oh, why? How would you? Why? No, I, th I think it'll uh, it'll come back. I think it'll come back for sure. If you just having, if anyone can hear me, uh, this is uh, Alpha Delta Romeo for Alpha Mark. Oh, yeah, get a mic check. Loud and clear. Thank you very much. Yeah, do you know the uh, YouTuber Jimmy Broden? Uh, no, I don't. Why? Someone special? Two thousand feet to go for our uh, cruise altitude, and uh, according to this, should be in about fourteen miles. Uh, 
Very cloudy up here. Let's have a look, a uh, quick weather update into uh, Belfast City. So we've got uh, 220 at 17 knots of winds and a uh, few clouds at 3700 feet. Temperatures 10 degrees, QNH 1013, okay. Alright. That's alright, not too bad. Cool story, humble guy. In point of view, he went from uh, sim racing and making videos in the shed to being a real racing driver. Oh wow. I'll check him out then. What was it? Jimmy... Um, Jimmy Broden. Okay, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll have a look. I will definitely have a look, me friends. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. It wasn't meant to be here. Uh, what the hell, where is it going? Alright, there we go. There we go. That should be fine. For the most popular sim racing YouTuber. Okay. That's good to know, man. Alright, there we go. Wait for old crews over here. Old crews, beautiful. And with that, we're gonna get uh, cost index back to normal and our um, transponder can go to uh, below. Top of the scent is 81 nautical miles. That's absolutely fine. Let me quickly have a look at our approach. So this is our approach. And uh, we're going to be going direct in via Maggie. And Maggie's uh, right here. If you have a look at our plan. There's Maggie. From Maggie, we're gonna go around it. Two, two. Um, in terms of our uh, descent, there's nothing uh, to be scared of. Not scared, but you know, no. Uh, not. There aren't any threats that I see here. Arrivals, as you can see, we're going to be uh, going. Um, let me have a look. So, yeah, we're going to go via B locks and Gaz, Ibits, Limka, then Maggie. Any threat sick of flying on the airway system will be cleared into TMA without having to request a specific entry clearance. Aircraft fishing can turn to TMA from the open. Clearance from Belfast approach if joining from southeast or from Alder Grove approach if joining directions. Okay. Limka, you have that ringing box on? No, we don't have that ringing box on. No. Okay, uh, that's fine. Let's have a look at our approach now. So. With approach, uh, it's uh, looking pretty nice with the uh, glide slope angle of 3 degrees. I'm uh, going to capture glide slope and localizer at about 2000 feet. Uh, glide slope at 2000 feet, sorry. Uh, minimums are going to be uh, 212 for this uh, miss approach. Oh, sorry for this approach and for missed approach uh, we are going to climb straight ahead to 3000 feet or delta 8.0 uh, which is right here whichever is the earliest then turn left to Lima Charlie Tango Romeo oops what the hell did I just do my bad I don't fix that I didn't know you could do that. 
How did I do that? Okay, there we go. <laughs> what the hell? Right, that's quite uh, that's quite cool. I didn't know you could do that. I don't know you could okay. Let's just uh, let's just leave that for now. Caution due to terrain effect pilots may not receive look fully scale fly right indications. Okay. So uh, this is what I was uh, saying that because there are uh, some high buildings there if I uh, quickly show you guys. You see how it's quite busy around uh, Balfour C City Alpha, area. Now making base turn for runway two three right. So yeah. So we need to make sure that we capture localizer, and we are at the required altitude as well. Let's zoom in here. And let's enter the uh, data. So we're going to request our weather quickly. Let's go to perf page on this side. Air menu weather and weather request for Echo Golf Alpha Charlie Meta yes send that information over see if messages wait for that now there we go so uh, winds 2 to 0 7 not 17 knots uh, temperatures 10 QNH 1013 that's exactly correct temperatures 10 winds uh, 2 to 0 17 It's, uh, it's looking a bit windy and uh, minimums were 212 on Barrow Config full uh, transition showing 60 will go with 70 Final approach speed will be 136 with the uh, full flaps Okay, lovely, that's all fine Also, let's add some fixes in here quickly while before we forget Echo Golf uh, Alpha Charlie 122 Echo Golf Alpha Charlie 22 six miles Echo Golf Alpha Charlie 22 and then we'll have one final waypoint for four miles. Okay. Fixes are in. Yeah, looking good. So final weight uh, was. Let's have a look at our flight plan quickly. Fifty-eight three. That's our landing weight. So uh, let's go to our landing calculation. Yeah, that's fine. Dry. Apply the meta. Quickly refresh down. Apply that. Cool. Uh, QNH has gone 1012, okay, that's fine. Landing weight 58.3. Gonna do medium ultra brakes. Max reverse. Lovely. Medium ultra brakes selected. Uh, 37 nautical miles from top of descent. So initial descent is going to be. We'll go down to 3,400. Lovely.
Oh, the CFMs, uh, they're pretty good, man. They sound really nice. They are good. Company message. Let's see what the company is saying. Probably some easy ops. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna go back to York, and the first flight we'll do is uh, we'll do a CRJ flight, CRJ seven hundred tomorrow. Gaurav Sharma, Eid Mubarak Vire. Thank you very much, Gaurav. Eid Mubarak to you as well, Yar. Yeah, I think there was uh, a dude who requested a CRJ one. I think it was a uh, Flagstaff. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was Flagstaff to uh, somewhere. But uh, what we're going to do, we're going to fly from Phoenix into this other airport and then into Flagstaff. Let me have a look rather than guessing. So, yeah, it was. Um, Flagstaff to Sedona. So what we're gonna do? Phoenix to Sedona and then Flagstaff. We'll fly that in American CRJ seven hundred. Uh, nice to be with SkyWest Airline. Would it be with SkyWest? Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's have a look. I thought it wasn't. Maybe I'm wrong. Sky was supposed to see I just haven't seen the West Coast. Okay. Where's American Airline though? Phoenix to Flagstaff is American. Or oh, is the call sign Sky West? Okay. The call sign is probably Sky West. Sedona to uh Flagstaff will be a really, really short flight, man. It's done under American livery, okay, okay, understood. Alright, top of descent is here. Let's uh, get Manish descent. Speed green, descent green. Beautiful. 
Let's go, ladies and gents. Let's uh, let's do this. Uh, that's how the reasons work. Oh, okay. That's a uh, that's good knowledge. I didn't know that. It's going to be a long descent, this. Like for me, I hope to be with the Massa in the future and they fly Imperial 175, but delivery is a United. Oh, okay. E75, hello, good to see you. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you are doing well this fine evening. Long time no see, indeed. Well, now you're here and we have a beautiful flight and a beautiful uh, approach for you as well coming in very shortly whoa what the flip was that man what we're getting hit with 130 knots of wind flipping heck those winds are crazy up there. Where's the passenger policy to be able to say the announcement? Uh, ladies and gents, thank you very much for flying with us. Uh, we do apologize for this uh, tiny bump there. It wasn't intentional, uh, just an uh, act of God, in it? Is Edinburgh worth getting in MSF? Uh, yeah, I would say so. I've got Edinburgh and it's pretty good. Mohammed, hello, good to see you. How are you doing, my friend? What was that little bump? It was uh, weird weather that came through. Guys, we have to watch this. Let's watch this. That's Taj Manzoor from Come Fly With Me. He's really funny. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Yeah, I've 
Kenya has a lot of deliver food that is spewing out all the ash and that. We got a phone call from a woman who lives there in the airport and she's having a barbecue today. And she says, please, can we have no planes flying overhead because it's a bit noisy. We've run out of appetite, so it's not safe to travel. The pilot parked the plane. He can't remember where he is. You're making a run. Excuse me? I want you to go away, then. Oh, God. Not her. Excuse me? Let's be. Uh, Nuji. What's Nuji? But a fake pilot is flying. <laughs> Benny, hello, good to see you. Yeah, man, Taj is funny, bro. Do you watch Super Wog? Uh, I've seen a couple of clips here and there, yes. Do you watch Grand Tour? Yes, I did. Uh, Superwalk is funny, yeah. I dare you to go full left rudder for a second. There you go. <laughs> oh. Those three are the only three British people I respect. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that uh, bit of turbulence there. Um, we had a special request from uh, one of the guys uh, who is, uh, you know, has requested the special left rudder because he likes everything left. You really, I'm definitely being serious. Okay. Very definitely being serious. Well, just whenever you can, uh, Superwalker's pilot. Okay. I'll watch that. Seven years ago, bloody hell. They uploaded this 2016. Poof. Good morning, this is your fucking captain. Yeah, gotta hit a hard on cycle. And you gotta feel a couple of chips. On a hook a right and then the left. Enjoy your floor. Well, there's a reason why we're ranking the best hour in Australia. That's because of our custom service. We're gonna be your floor attendants. You only get one snack. One suck! Let's see! You only get one! You get one like a will! Now, for your suck! <laughs> I'm watching this video, man. Let's watch it together then, eh? Chickens. 
Okay, let's just uh, let's just not watch the le the rest of it. We've got clouds. Let's get NTI sword before Nuji has a heart attack here. And you're gonna go back. Nah, I should be all right. I won't get, <laughs> won't get banned for that. Don't worry. Got NTOs on uh, just in time. Man. Leave me alone, please. Looks like uh, we're getting clear of this uh, cloud soon. Does this have good rep Yeah, they have good repetition, yeah. Do you have a... Do you leave beacon light on for the entire flight? Yes, beacon and strobes, they have to be on for the entire flight and the navigation lights. Easy that is uh, easy that pretty good. They're pretty good. Can you go in the cockpit, please, uh, back so Hello. There you go. This is the cockpit of this beautiful aircraft. This is the overhead panel. All the circuit breakers work. Oxygen mask and all that works as well. The tray table works. No worries, back. So you're welcome. Have you ever used a circuit breaker in this aircraft before? No, I have not. I th actually, I might have used it once. But yeah. Don't remember using it too much.
Can I see the uh, artificial horizon, please? Okay, just rewind the stream back. To yeah. Rewind the stream and I do uh, unlock the artificial horizon. I just want to see the speed and the altitude, sorry. Yeah, they work. Right here. They are working. Did you know that if you turn off the engines uh, right now, you won't... I didn't know that and uh, I don't think I'll try. I'm not as daring as you, uh, Cool Dash. Not as daring as you, man. Sorry. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. I know exactly what you're trying to do, my friend. Do you still need anti-ice? Kind of. We're heading into clouds again. Temperature is minus 5 and SAT is minus 14. Ten thousand feet, landing lights on, running turn offs on, seat well signs, no smoking signs on, and I'm gonna get anti ice off. Now that you said it, I'm gonna turn it off. No, you're fine. We're clearing clouds anyway. Calm down. You're not gonna die. Let's get landing systems on, constraints on, VOR 1 and 2 on, and we'll get uh, our navigation display to 10. Kunish 1013. That's all fine. Will the engines actually stop if you don't turn on NTIs? Uh, they might do. I haven't had that issue where I actually had to turn them off or anything, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they do, to be honest. You are right. Look at that. Just for realism, yeah, they show the icing on your wings and engines and stuff, but that's about it. Look at that beautiful Belfast city. Our airport is just on that side, I think. Let's get local QNH 1013. Beautiful. On both sides. Activate the approach phase as well. Lovely. Alright, ladies and gents. Let's get ready for our beautiful landing. I was watching Mental Pilot's uh, debrief today on uh, that Pakistan PIA flight. That the one that crashed in uh, in in uh, in Karachi, and after watching that, I felt like I need to do everything properly as well for my flights on the simulator. Uh, Aviation Channel says butter. Well, hopefully it will be a butter, my friend. Welcome to the channel. Good to have you on board.
Let's keep an eye inside now. Well, for city traffic, EZ379 Romeo currently on uh, base for runway 22, we're about 14 miles out. Well, for us. Beautiful. I'm gonna arm the approach. Glide slope localizer armed. And uh, there we go. Lock star. Cool dash, did you ever crash on stream? Uh, yeah, a lot of times. <laughs> a lot of times. Alexis, hello once again. I remember when there was a terrain glitch. Uh, I had to go do landing stuff. Yeah, no worries. Were you in Vassi when that happened? What terrain glitch? When my plane got flipping eaten by the terrain? No, I wasn't on Vassi, I think. Alright, let's go flaps one in. Well, for city traffic. Easy 379 Romeo fully established runway 2211 miles out. Glide slope is in. Go run altitude 3000, so we're gonna set that up. Flaps 2. Let's do this indeed, Nuji. Let's do this, boys and girls. Let's do this. Alright, so auto brake is set. Nose lights can go to uh, take off for our landing. For I had a new graphics update. Did they? Uh, I just downloaded it a few minutes ago. Oh, about an hour ago. Uh, say minus 217. Okay. Let's get your uh, prediction in, guys. Let's get your predictions in. What do you think the landing rate will be? Minus 302, minus 347. Thanks for the trust, guys. Appreciate that. Oh, it was a joke. Okay. Minus 428. Okay. Alright, 2,000 feet landing gear down. Beautiful. Flaps three. Flaps four.
spoilers armed. Belfast City traffic uh, easy 379 normally a short final 5 miles for runway 22 Belfast AP2 is engaged as well what happened oh you guys are on that gambling addiction again unbelievable right, let's start the recording move the gear cam up ladies and gents let's do this Winds are definitely crazy. We're getting about 26 knots of uh, crosswind. All right. One bad. Just gonna do autopilot. green listen to those engines fighting with the winds man it's crazy Three hundred and four, not bad, we'll take that. All right, let's get rid of the auto brakes. You were too off. <laughs> Wait, I thought we disengaged the Eutropics. There we go. Alright, let's go to our parking. We'll go to the seven. Is too small for your oh, what the flippery flip is this? The heck is the terminal? Terminal's there. Wow. How did we manage to mess that up? Of course we had to mess that up, isn't it? Fair enough, I had to add 11 flights yesterday because I forgot to do so the uh, longest 30 minutes of my life. Let's get Corona off. Show me the spot. Okay, it's right there. Okay, okay, okay. Let's change the facilities. Suitable parking. Too small, too small. Okay, I think gate six is the only one we can go to. No. Okay. Yeah, we can take this next exit over there. Yes, 
Yeah, uh, the plane sort of uh, <laughs> floated a bit there. I didn't expect it to float that much. And it's recorded a bounce, really? Well, we'll have to look at that. I don't think there was a bounce there. But G-Force 1.2, I think that was a decent landing. We'll have to watch the replay for that. I don't think there was a bounce there. Landing lights off and a ton of soft strobes off. Flaps can go up. Where's the spot? Okay, it's over there. We'll get taxi lights off as well, start the APU. Uh, okay, number six is over there. Looking out, this is going to be a bit tricky to park here, isn't it? What the? Why is that thing there now? Let me have a look where exactly this spot is. What's going on? Why has it got six here and then... Beautiful textures, yeah. DirectX 12 for you. That is DirectX 12 for you. Six A. Well, it didn't say that, did it? It just said six. Come on. Parking brake set. We'll get engine two and one off. If you bleed, can come on with that. Beacon can go off, ladies and gents. Welcome to Belfast. Hope you guys enjoyed that beautiful uh, landing and the flight. We are going to get the replay on as well now, so uh, let's quickly have a look at that, see how we did there. Uh, Sim Toolkit Pro, let's close that. Stop the recording and we'll also disconnect from that Sim. If I can find that bloody thing, there we go. Alright, so let's uh, go to ground services. Close everything up. We've we'll got a panel seat. Get that up and ready. There we go. Close the cargo gates and all that. Let's get the aircraft ready for the landing configuration. Alright. Let's watch the... No, 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 what's going on here? Replay mod? 
Ah, there you go. Ladies and gents, let's give you guys, uh, take you guys a bit further. There we go. Gonna give you guys the wing view. Uh, this one or this one? I think this one is better. Yeah. Give you guys this wing view. Gonna get rid of the cam. And uh, you guys enjoyed this beautiful landing. I will see you guys tomorrow in another beautiful flight. Until then, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love.